Ah, oh, this is really probably warn people about the flashing lights. I want to get out. I'm just not enjoying this right now. Hey everyone, today I'm going on a trip. I'm very scared. I'm going to Brussels and I'm gonna bring you with me and and we're we're gonna get through this together. You know, traveling kind of as an agoraphobic with panic disorder isn't easy. But I just want to show you that, you know, we need to take this step by step. As you can see, I'm nervous. I'm about to leave my house to get ready to go. So I'm gonna try and, you know, vlog this and, and let's see how this goes. So see you in a minute. So today we're going to go into the town and explore Brussels a little bit. We're just going to travel in and, and see what there is to explore. So we decided to take a cab into town, um, which was fine. And then I didn't realize that we were going uh, on the motorway, which I'm sure a lot of you can relate, um, isn't really the easiest experience, especially when you have a bit of like anxiety or agoraphobia or something like that. And I did. Uh, yeah, I kind of start to panic and, you know, I just wasn't uh, prepared. I tried to just realize that, yeah, I'm just a bit nervous because we're going, you know, on these, you know, big roads and it's fast and stuff. And, you know, I didn't, I didn't know that we were going to do that. I didn't do anything crazy because you always worry that you're going to lose control or you're going to do something silly or something like that. And I kind of just let the anxiety reach, like, its point and then it will come down again. And I think what we usually do whenever we, you know, get into an anxiety provoking situation is the first thing you want to do is, is escape. And so like you get to, when it starts going up, you run away and then it goes down you're like, oh, you know, I was safe because I escaped the situation. Well, in this case, I didn't have the opportunity to escape because as you can see, we're moving on the road and, you know, there's nothing I could do, you know, to, to change it. And I just had to wait. I did. and. And eventually I actually calmed down. I actually just started enjoying the drive, which I should have been the whole time. So, you know, this idea in your head that we have that, you know, everything's dangerous is not necessarily true. And, you know, the only way to really prove it is to, to sit through it and, uh, and keep going. I feel like I learned something from doing it. I feel, you know, a bit proud of you know, being able to sit through it. And, Feel more confident for next time when something unexpected happens. So let's see, let's see what else we get up to today, and I'll, maybe I'll, I'll bring you guys along. So have fun and get out there and do something that scares you.
So I just did um, a little walk through a nice park and yeah, it was pretty fun. Right now I'm just kind of find a quiet space to talk a little bit. But yeah, I did start to feel a little bit anxious, especially when I went up the stairs, you might've noticed, I started to feel a little bit faint and worried about like my heart and palpitations and stuff like that. And the feeling of, you know, getting out of breath, but it's all about just kind of taking it step by step and, uh, you know, But yeah, it's all about taking it kind of step by step and just realizing that, you know, it's normal to feel these sensations and feelings. Um, and it doesn't mean that there's something wrong. It just means that, you know, you're, you're kind of out your living when you walk, your heart's supposed to race and things like that. But so far, what's been keeping me going is just uh, taking every moment in itself. And if I need to rest, then I can stop and rest and that's okay. I think now we're gonna go get something to eat. Um, yeah, so see you guys. In the next bit. Hey guys, now I'm starting to feel a bit anxious and you know, a little bit stressed, probably from a lot of walking around. I'm tired and faint, and so uh, I'll let you know how it goes. You know, try not to think the worst and just keep going. So it's a new day. So yesterday, yeah, I, I said I was anxious. I said I was a bit worried and I wasn't feeling too good. And it's true, I was feeling anxious. I was feeling nervous. I felt very faint. Uh, we'd been walking all day and I hadn't eaten a lot or drank a lot really. But in that moment, you know, I was beginning to catastrophize, but that's exactly the point is to not catastrophize as much as you can. So basically what we did was, instead of kind of just breaking into a panic, uh, we decided to go get something to eat. Um, sit down and just relax and and that really helped I felt a lot better and yeah I think that that made a difference but then the problem was when we were eating I ended up like cracking my tooth or something and that just made me extremely anxious um, for the rest of the day until we got home I was just worrying about my tooth but that's another thing there are some things we just cannot control like things are gonna happen and that's fine but what I realized was I was able to deal with it in the moment. You know, I felt anxious, felt scared, but I could deal with it. You know, nothing terrible happens, you know. My tooth still feels a bit weird, but we're gonna sort that out when I get home. And I don't need to catastrophize every moment. So I would say, you know, all in all, it was a good day. I got home, um, had to eat like soft foods, you know, felt a bit more relaxed, just taking it easy. And then I felt really calm and I just enjoyed myself watching TV and went to sleep. Um, and so now it's the next day and yeah, come and join me. I'll show you what we're going to do today. We're going to go to the Atomium and just have a look around and then who knows. So see ya. because that's one of my big fears is like what if I have epilepsy and I don't know but let's just nothing we can do about it now just continue uh, okay but it seems I'm fine so far right um I want to get out a bit uh, Stairs. 
so good. Yeah. Where's the way out? Okay, let's see if they good. Around the side. I didn't know what we were in for here. So, sorry guys. Yeah, I don't like it. Let's uh, continue uh, for the next part. So basically, I was feeling really claustrophobic. I, um, yeah, I was feeling a little bit claustrophobic. I was feeling like very, I needed to escape and we're on the elevator and there's like no immediate way out. And this is actually the type of stuff, you know, that I don't want to do. And then obviously I had very irrational thoughts about, about what if I have like, epilepsy or something and I don't know about it and then suddenly you know being exposed to all these flashing lights is like um, making me freak out so I mean I'm just not enjoying this right now like the flashing is just you know it's making me think all kinds of stuff and I'm ready to go out of here so let's continue I'm gonna keep taking you along with me. Um, I'm gonna try and see if, if they wanna move on to the next one any minute. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna let them enjoy themselves because it's not all just about me. Um, but yeah, this is a little bit uncomfortable, but that's okay, we can do uncomfortable things from time to time. And you know, the more you sit through it, the more, you know, you will have up and down, like, you know, the anxiety will increase and then decrease, um, and the more you sit through it, but, um, it doesn't mean it's not stressful, but the more you sit through it, um, the better it'll be. And you know, actually, the more you can start to really enjoy, enjoy it, right? So this is something really nice. Yeah, so let's let's have a look here what, what we're looking at. Yeah. embarrassing myself but that's fine because that's part of this uh, journey and, um, and getting through these types of things like this is just what I have to do and it will be uncomfortable and that's what I have to learn. I was trying to stay comfortable in my house and that's how I became agoraphobic you know I didn't want to feel these feelings of overheating and palpitation and sweating but I just did and I just went through this thing and it's absolutely fine. Um, so. I mean, this is a very raw video, so I wonder what this is gonna look like. If you can even hear me on it, I hope you can. But, um, yeah, um, you know what? I'll finish this section here and, and I'll catch up with you again later. See ya guys. Okay, so that I was not expecting. When I came here, I thought it was just gonna be like, we look around, uh, we look at this uh, thing and then see there's a museum or something. 
I didn't realize that I was gonna be like going inside it. I didn't realize it was gonna feel so like claustrophobic. Like I had to go on this escalator. Then I had to, um, you know, it was like all these flashing lights. And I get these really irrational thoughts, especially with like flashing lights that I have, like maybe there's a chance that I have a, like an under, undiagnosed epilepsy, or maybe this is gonna be triggered. So I get these really outrageous, intrusive, uh, irrational thoughts, and that's really triggers my anxiety. And I started feeling, you know, all of this racing heart, these sensations. I got really hot in there. And there was no easy way to like escape. Like when you're trapped on the escalator, you can't just turn around and, and push everyone out the way. But like now, after I've done it, and after I've like processed and, and realized, look, I was fine the whole time. I was feeling the normal anxiety symptoms and feelings, but I was absolutely fine. And I was very capable to, 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 do, to do that and go, and go through it. Um, and now, if, if you said to me, let's go do it again, I could do that. I could stay in there for hours, but the only way I could come to that is by actually doing it. And I didn't obsess and research, you know, before, because maybe I would have looked and been like, hey, I don't want to go in there because I know I'm just going to have an anecdote. So kind of just taking it every step as it goes is, the, is some of the best advice that I've been, I've been taking that has made things I wouldn't say it makes it easier, but it makes it better because it's much easier to just avoid doing these things. You know, I could just avoid it and that's fine. But I wouldn't get any better, I wouldn't feel any better, I wouldn't be doing more things and I wouldn't be getting more confident. Like I feel 10 times more confident after doing that than I did before. Like now just walking around, which before would make me very anxious, is, is, really not bad after doing that you have to experience the things that are gonna scare you and freak you out and make you anxious and make you scared and it's not about doing it without being scared it's about literally doing it you know you might if you have a panic attack then have the panic attack but you have to show yourself that you can have a panic attack and you can still be okay until you believe that hey you know i'm fine no matter what i feel and eventually these panic attacks will get less and less intense and you'll be able to go to more places and things that you might have been avoiding or you know you felt too scared to do if i avoided that i would probably just be like fine but i would be feeling more fearful in the long run that's one thing i've learned the more you avoid the more fearful you really will feel in the long term and i feel a lot less fear after doing that and i could do that again so Anyway, I don't know. I'm gonna, you know, just enjoy some of the day now and stop filming for a while because I've been filming for ages. Um, and yeah, just keep going. Hey guys, so I'm just taking a stroll through mini Europe and I have to say I'm feeling like very calm and very relaxed. I think it was really good that I went um, and kind of did that thing. So, because this is just, uh, you know, I feel a lot more free than I felt in a very long time. So let's see how long this this last for it's really nice to just be able to you know, enjoy things without all this constant worrying like when i would stay at home i would still be full of worrying when is the next time we're going to go out when if what if i need to go somewhere now having actually gone out it's like it's like you know i've done things that really scared me i did have panic attacks but now it's like, well, I know I can handle them. And so I can be here. And I don't need to worry about like, what next? I'm actually able to enjoy, you know, enjoy the moment. And this is something new. And you know, if I didn't take this trip, I don't think I would 
feel like this very often because it, it feels like it's been a while since I've really truly felt like this. So, yeah. First to each. Okay, so we're on the Eurostar, heading back to London now, and uh, I'm very, very tired and uh, I'm ready to relax and have a nice journey. Um, you know, it might be a little scary, but I doubt it's going to be as bad as the way here, which wasn't even that bad, so I'll speak to you when I arrive. Today was a very long day, so I'll make this quick. I'm very tired. We got up, went and walked around, uh, met some friends and just kind of um, hung out throughout the day until we got on our train and uh, yeah, headed back to London. So we just got in now and I'm like exhausted. But I just wanted to say like none of the catastrophic thoughts and you know worries that I had came true. Even the ones when I felt like, hey, something's really wrong, or I felt some physical sensations, there were times when I started doubting things. But in the end, none of that came true. And if I didn't go on this trip, and if I didn't kind of face my fears and do these things, I would just take that as, hey, because I didn't go, I'm safe at home. But now I've got another level of confidence. It's more like I know that I can feel anxious and worrying things but I can sit with it and push through it. And even if I do feel anxious or doubt at the time, it doesn't mean that necessarily, you know, these catastrophic things are gonna happen. All in all, this was like one of the best things that I could do. And I just feel so much more confident because I was able to do so much more than I ever like thought I would be able to do because that doubt just sits in your mind and it says, you know, I can't do this, I'm gonna have panic attacks or something really is gonna go wrong or whatever. But the thing is, we underestimate, you know, our ability to cope with situations. And even though I did have situations where I felt anxious or scared or like, you know, stuck, I got through it and I was able to deal with it, right? If you like this kind of vlog or this trip or whatever, hopefully um, you do, but I'm definitely going to be doing more, even just, you know, as practice, you know, there's a lot of things that I need to do. Now, I went on this trip with uh, my girlfriend, you know, I wasn't alone. So there's still, I've got a lot more to do, you know, I, I don't do many things for myself. But for me, taking this step and doing something like this at all is big anyway. Going from someone who was calling in the ambulance every day, stuck inside the house, literally, I couldn't leave the house at all. And if I did, it was because I called an ambulance and I went to the hospital. And I got to the point where I really was just literally like sleeping in the emergency room, still panicking because that's the only place where I felt some resemblance of safe. So to go from that to like being stuck in the house and then to taking, you know, doing just little things like getting out just a little bit to then going to another country and stuff like that. This is all big steps for me um and i realized that look maybe i didn't go on this trip completely by myself but maybe that in the future could be another step that i do and you'll see in one of these vlogs if people like them and continue to watch if you have a trip like this that you can go on or if you have something no matter how big or small try and say yes try and lean into the things that scare you try and if you have a choice between two things you know let's go here this is really safe and I and I know how to do this and I can do it. And this one, oh, I think I'll be really anxious. I don't know how I'll deal with that. Then do that one. That's what I've been doing. Choose the one that makes you more uncomfortable because you need to show yourself that you can do it and you are able to do it. All of those worries I had, all of those fears I had before the trip, you know, what if I have a panic attack and, you know, what if the train stops under the channel and, you know, or, or there's a disaster or what if, like, like all these what ifs, none of, them, none of them happened. Other things happened, like I cracked my tooth, but I was actually able to deal with that as well. And even when I was really anxious and panicking about that, oh, what if it gets infected? What if something happens? Oh, no, I can't. You know, I still dealt with it. I'm home. I'm going to go to the dentist. <laughs> you know? So I hope that at least for some of you out there watching this video has helped you to kind of realize that you can 
do this, right? And give you this motivation to get out there and face the things that make you scared. And with that, my name's Peter, I'm Anxiety Fitness, and thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you in some way. Please like, please subscribe, please comment, you know, all the things that help, because I really hope that this can help some people out there, just even if it motivates them just a little bit. But thank you so much for watching, and all of you out there, please take care, and remember that you are not alone, and you can do this.